Tampa General Hospital is one of five hospitals in the state that will receive those initial doses. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell explains the plans the hospital has for this vaccine as soon as it gets the green light. This is a moon landing level scientific breakthrough progress. This is a really big deal. The wait is on. Tampa General Hospital expects doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to arrive sometime in the coming days. Dr. Jason Wilson hopes to get the vaccine by this time next week. My guess is that at this time next week, when I open up those freezers, there's going to be vaccine in those freezers. And by this time next week, we're going to be putting uh, shots in arms, injections into arms of our healthcare workers. TGH is reserving doses at its hospital in this initial distribution phase for its physicians and staff at the highest risk of exposure at work. Tampa General says it can store a total of 510,000 doses of the vaccine at once in its freezers. You know, we've spent a lot of time thinking through how we'll do this distribution and we've done other, uh, you know, either investigational drug products or other products that have to be stored at these cold temperatures. We've moved things around in dry ice before, uh, so we're very comfortable with that process. USF Health's Dr. Sure. Michael Tang says data shows this vaccine is highly effective. For the healthcare workers, especially those on the front lines that have seen people die of COVID, I don't think there's much of a question that they'll be, you know, very, they'll be very willing to get the vaccine. Dr. Wilson says they don't know how much of the vaccine they're able to receive. Tampa General says if supply allows and once its first group of workers have started to get vaccinated, they will supply doses to partner hospitals. Healthcare workers and long term care facility residents are in the top priority group for a vaccine when it rolls out. And as you wait during this process for a vaccine to be available to you, doctors explain you're still going to want to wear a mask and social distance. In Tampa tonight, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.